Rick Dollar with NetRadioDogs.com, and we are live at the Paramount Center for the Arts in Bristol, Tennessee, with the two prolific songwriters and singers. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't pay attention to this guy, because I think he's a little tired. Uh, but uh, we've got Daly and Vincent with us tonight. Yay, everybody, clap. Wow. Man, Darren's like, forget it. I'm done. I know why you're tired. Why is that? Because you've been in Europe for too many days. We've been gone tonight is our 24th day of being gone from the house. Tomorrow will be number 26. Wow. And then we do the Grand Ole Opry this Tuesday night, and then we're going to take off 10, 11 days. Yeah. Yeah, you deserve that. I'm ready for I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I really, really do. How long have you guys been doing this? I know you started more with uh, Doyle Lawson, and you uh, started out more or less with uh, Ricky Skaggs. Actually, or did I do that wrong? That's okay. I was I, I traveled the world with my family group, uh, my mom and dad, my sister Rhonda, my brother Brian. Right. That's the Sally Mountain Show. Ah. And we uh, I grew up in a family group, and we traveled, like I said, around the world uh, playing music. Rhonda went out on her own, and then I went out on my own to work with uh, John Hartford for seven years, right. then Ricky Skaggs 11 years, and then me and Jamie started Daily Vincent. Wow. Could you tell him that story about uh, when you slept in the guitar case? That's the best one. Oh. He was a little guy, you just a baby. I was. Oh, okay, I thought it was a big guitar case. No, no, case not, not so. recently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last week. No. Uh, Keith Bilbrey would, well, would always tells a story to me, it's always so funny, that um, my family had came to, to Nashville to the Ernest Up Record Shop. Right, right. And it was, of course, the Midnight Jamboree. Exactly. And I was a, a kid. And I just I just found a guitar case and laid there, and Ernest Tubb walked by. Oh, man. And stopped and looked down and said, let the little, let the letter, let the little feller sleep. That's, That's what he said. And just walked up on stage and started the Midnight Jamboree. That's amazing. Then it's almost started. like... Uh, you know, getting blessed by the Pope when he, you know what I'm but saying? But had it been me, he'd say, get that little fella out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> He's in my guitar case. <laughs> cedar smell funny. Yeah. <laughs> I got a question to ask you. I was young and needed the money. Okay. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll go on to something else. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> told me to do that. I'm They'll be editing that <laughs> one. <laughs> but it worked out great, didn't it? did. It? Okay. So, uh, Europe. How yeah. many different... Uh, Places did you play when you were over there? Well, let's see. We were in London for a few days, and then we were in Zurich, uh, Switzerland for a few days, and then we were in uh, near Munich, Germany for a few days. Wow. And then we were in one of our very, very favorite places of the world, Stad, Switzerland. We were there for yeah. three days. And it's, uh, like, it's like a fairy tale. You cannot believe how beautiful it is. Uh, it's where a lot of the movie stars and top political figures and you know, the lead of the world go and stay, right. and, and, and uh, it's just beautiful. And we had a sold-out show there, and they seem to love our music. It's our third time to Stad. <laughs> and, and let me tell you, the first time we went to Stad, it was you three... You to speak slowly over there. You, oh, really? Is that what it is? <laughs> you have to really speak slowly for them to understand what yeah. we're saying. The first time we were there, um, we were there two nights in a row years ago, 3,000 people a night sold out. And it's oh, down okay. in between the apps, and you're thinking, who is going to come? Yeah, out here? The and they, they filled that thing up. Well. And, <laughs> and we received six standing O's and two encores from Amazing. It. But we were told before we went, do not sing much gospel. They're a secular crowd. Do not really? sing much gospel. And we, we, we just, you know, we do what we do. That's and, right. And, and we didn't take much advice on to take the advice of that. Yeah. And the first gospel song we sang, they came out of the seats, and we had this on video, they wouldn't sit down. Really? And we had to sing it again, and they stood up again, and we liked to have never got the show going again. Amazing. Yeah. It was so felt. It, was, it just goes to show you. It goes to show you. You can't Don't listen. Don't go what they say. You no. have to go with what's in here, you know. <clears throat> they used to tell me I had to face it only a mother could love. But hey, look at me now. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, you got to face for a newspaper. It's good. It's really good. It's Oh my God! Okay. Well, so what? Uh, what's it like having to travel with him or with him? Well, we ain't you know? nothing compared to Jeff Parker. No, oh, I bet. Yeah, I've heard stories. Tell you, yeah, I've we, heard stories. We are way more mild than our band is. Yeah. No good. There are times that we just going back we, in the back of our bus is two offices, one for him, one for me. And that's the way we like it. <laughs> and then all the band is up front. And sometimes they just get so crazy that we, we, he nearly laughs to he ruptures. And I finally have to say, guys, quit or you're going to kill a little fella. Yeah, and then we'll, we'll go to the back and just leave him up there. What do you keep calling him, little fella? 
Well, I mean, he's pretty big. I mean, he's a pretty stout guy. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. He'll, he'll kill a man. No, yeah. I'd say yeah. he would. <laughs> so I need a bus story. You got a bus story? Oh, we got Everybody tons. gives me a bus story. We have tons of bus stories. There's... Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them we can't tell. Yeah, the most of them they can't yeah. tell. I, I think my favorite ones when uh, they were playing a bunch of gags on the bus one, one evening. They, they play, play them on Jamie and then, <laughs> then Jamie takes it up a notch. Two or three yeah, okay. yeah, he, he, got he, he took Parker's bed away. Yeah, Parker oh, done God. something to me. and yeah. and. And one thing with Jeff Parker, when he goes to get in his bunk, he don't get into the bunk like a normal person. You know, just kind of slide in there and then yeah. put the cover. He just goes in like a buffalo. You know, oh it God. rocks the bus even while it's rolling down the road. Yeah. Holy crap. So he had done something to me. I can't remember what it was. And I thought, oh boy, I'm going to get you bad. Because I know how he gets in his bunk. So while they were doing sound check, I snuck out there and I stole his mattress out of the bunk and closed the curtain. Oh, no. And there's a drop about this far. And there's about a drop yeah. that far to the, down the, plywood. To the yeah. plywood where the mattress sits. And because I knew he never looks in his curtain before he gets in the bunk, he just goes in like a buffalo. So that night about 1 a.m., we all get in our bunks. It's quiet, it's dark, we're going down the road. And I hear him come through the door because he's loud. He's snorting and, you know, burping and other things. Exactly. You know, and I thought, here he comes, and we're all laying there in the darkness. Man. And we hear, I mean, it... He went into that bunk and it sounded like the engine fell out of the bus. I bet. And then it got real yeah. quiet and I heard I heard him say, Well God my <laughs> And then I heard him say, he went, Somebody took Daddy's bunk. <laughs> oh my Daddy's big idea. And then the thing is he was down in there, we like never got him out. Oh god. I, I, do you ever feel bad about it? No, not, not at all. Not at all. Okay. No. Well, well that's good. We we hit his uh we hid his shoes in the freezer one time with us. He looked for two days for those. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, man. And that time he lost his glasses, they were on his head. Let me see it. He looked all over the And then he bus. came on the bus yeah, talking. I'll do that. He came on the bus talking to his wife on the phone. He said, honey, I lost my cell phone. Cannot find it. Either. He's on. Oh, my that's gosh. That's the trick. I'm not making that up. Yeah. It's true. Well, I'm just looking stuff. forward to this summer. I'm hearing all these things. I'm sure Tony's got a whole thing he's he's waiting to pull on me this summer. Too, so. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, exactly. Well, guys, we're really happy to have you here. You guys have a uh, an Emmy nominate, nominated TV show on RFD. Thank you. And uh, who are you going to have coming up? We've got a lot. Okay. My old boss, Doyle Lawson, he oh. came and did a whole episode yeah. with us. No sure kidding. Did. And uh, we had Jerry Douglas. Yeah. Uh, who else, Dan? Uh, Marcus Smith, Lou Reed, Terry Barca. Wow. There's an episode of them. Larry Sparks. Tanya Amazing. Tucker, Tanya Lee Tucker, Greenwood. The Diamond Rio. Yeah. Billy Dean. Good Lord. Us. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you have a successful show. You know what? When you pick the phone up and call somebody, they say, I'll be there in 10 minutes. You know? Well, they're usually how that goes. Like, if you don't come here, we're going to come to your house and bother you. Yeah, and bother you. Yeah, that's but, what I'm going to tell you one of the coolest shows I think that we've recorded that's really special to us is we got our, he got his, fa his father to come over and mm -hmm. sing. And I got my brother, wow. my brother Brian, who rarely is seen. Uh, we got them all on the episode. It Amazing. is so precious. We're glad to have that. That's great. So be watching for that coming up. Ah, that'll be something yeah. for everybody to it's see. It's very special. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, I got to go cut my toenails. He's got to get his wig. <laughs> hey, I'm good. So, yeah. Just, I'm just yeah. glad nobody passed gas while we were in here. No, we're not done yet. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. I'm gonna go right. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna roll this out real quick. Rick, Rick Dollar with NetRadioDogs.com, and I'm with Daly and Benson.